Welcome back everybody to Retro Anime and today we are going over a very hard topic to discuss amongst the anime community. Who is the god of all anime? And some of y'all, some of you guys could probably like predict, you know, who's the best at one particular category. So that's why I decided we're not doing one singular category, we're not doing who's the strongest, who's the coolest, who's the best looking. No. We are doing all of those combined into one to become the greatest character known to we. But before we do end up getting into this one, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video. If you do like this kind of content, please tell me in the comment section. I will try and do more of these, okay? So just, you know, help me out a bit. And one more message. I have slightly a bigger video coming up in maybe a couple days. So if I take a three-day break instead of a two-day break, that's probably fine. Okay, so let's get into what I am ranking everybody by. So the first criteria I am using is obviously who is the strongest character. So like, you know, I I'm going to have like a strength rating. So like, it, it may be, it's all going to pop up on screen, okay? Each rating will, uh, will be, pop will be uh, popping up on screen as we uh, as I go along for each character, you know. So the first criteria is how strong they are. So like, they can, if they, if, okay, nobody here is going to get a one, obviously, because we're going for like the god of anime. And a one strength, is, it mean, one strength just means you're garbage, okay? Do I have to say any more? Okay, and like a ten strength means like you're the strongest person known to man, okay? Do you know what I mean? And then the second criteria is I'm going to go about who is the coolest, you know, just all around, you know, who looks the coolest, who just is the coolest, who has the best personality, you already know. And I'm going to have a personality rating, okay? And then finally, I'm going to go over the best powers. So, like, who has, like, the best powers in anime, you know? I, I, I think that's kind of self-explanatory, okay? So let's get into the actual list. And, uh, okay, sorry, sorry, one more thing. I forgot to include the popularity criteria. We also need to go by how popular they are amongst the community. Okay, guys, so number five on the list is gonna be Jotaro. Okay, and this might surprise a couple people, you know. You know, Jotaro, top five, you know, in the gods category. Okay, basically, the main reasons I put him here is because, you know, of course, his powers are really cool. You know, all the stands and stuff introduced in part three of JoJo. Obviously, some of the coolest powers we've seen in a while, okay? And also personality, bro. You cannot tell me this guy doesn't have, like, the, the, the most strange personality. But, like, you, you, you always feel like you need to watch this guy. Like, he is really just good in terms of a character, you know? Okay? I think where he's, uh, he's lacking, though, is probably uh, popularity. I gave him a, a six in, uh, in popularity. And that's because, like, it, let's be honest here. If we're gonna, like, I'm not gonna tell you who's, who's on this list, but comparing everybody else on this list, if you're gonna ask somebody, like, uh, just an anime watcher, any anime watcher, name anime characters, Jotaro probably isn't gonna be the, the even the, like, maybe, he might not even be the fifth person that pops in their head. Probably not, actually, you know, like, uh, so I gave him a six for popularity, and for power, I gave him a, an eight. And uh, you'll see why later in the list. So, uh, number five is Jotaro for me. Let's get into number four. Okay, so for number four, I chose Luffy. And here's my reasons, okay? Luffy is probably better all around than Jotaro. Uh, that's why I put him over him. I think Jotaro has, like, maybe one category, or potentially even two, yeah, probably, like, two that he thrives better in. But, like, all around, Luffy is just a, a better character here. Okay, like, definitely in terms of popularity, he's much better uh, at, the, uh, at that than Jotaro. More people are going to know Luffy than Jotaro. Because, you know, One Piece, part of the big three, you know, with Bleach and Naruto. Uh, it's also the longest anime in the big three. One of the longest animes uh, ever. It's got, like, a thousand episodes now. I don't even know how many. And, uh, so, uh, that's why for popularity, I said, uh, nine. Power, I said nine, so we also beat Jodoro in that. Uh, his powers, I gave him an eight because, like, uh, in comparison to everybody else on this, uh, this list, his powers aren't very, like, interesting because they all usually revolve around the same, like, gum gum whatever, you know, with the gum gum fruit. Obviously, he has a bunch more, but I said powers eight for Luffy. And personality, I said seven because, like, 
it's Luffy. He could be like, he, he, he's cool a lot of the time, but like, he could be really annoying some of the time. You know? Like, I, I, some of my friends said, like, his dub voice is really annoying. I hate his sub voice. I like One Piece and the dub better, honestly. But uh, I gave him a 7 on, uh, on personality there. So, uh, yeah, that's why I got Luffy at number 4. Let's get into number 3. Okay, so uh, number three I got maybe a surprise because some people might put this guy at number one or two. I got Naruto at number uh, three. And here's my reasoning, okay? He's not going to be able to beat either of the top two in a fight, okay? I gave him a power of eight. I don't think he could beat Luffy in a fight probably, you know? Honestly, it, it would be close. I don't think he would. But uh, let me tell you why he's over uh, Luffy, okay? Uh, just by a little bit, by the way. Popularity is a 10. Any anime fan, and even a ton of non-anime fans, know Naruto, okay? Everybody, almost everybody is gonna know Naruto, okay? And his different powers, he has so many different, like, diverse, unique powers throughout the series, compared to Luffy, like, the, like, a lot of these powers, they, 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 they're not even, like, related, like, Tail Beast Bomb. Don't tell me, like, Tail Beast Bomb is, like, the same thing as, like, I don't know, uh, 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 uh just random power. Like, one of his, like, random... Okay, we're not gonna talk about that. But, like, he, he's got, like, Kuruma. He's got Rasengan. He's got, uh, like... He's got stuff like that. Okay, you already know you already know what I'm talking about. Shadow Clone... Multi-Shadow Clone Jutsu. That was, like, the first main power he learned. Okay, he's got a ton of powers. So, just, like... Just, 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 just that's why he beats out Luffy on that. I accidentally just took a screenshot. I don't know how. And, uh... Uh, personality, I... Don't know if I already said this. Personality, I uh, I gave him a nine, cause like he's just, in general, he's just a really cool dude, especially in Shippuden. Like in the uh, the original series, he could be kind of annoying. He'd be like a brat half the time, but like uh, in Shippuden, you know, he gets himself together, and he's like just a really cool guy. Yeah, I already know. So uh, let's get into number two. Okay, so at number two, I have somebody you probably thought was gonna top the whole list. Maybe not. I don't know. Wait, I got Goku. Okay, so. Obviously, you know, I'm just gonna get straight into it into it uh, a lot of people You know if you're not if you weren't if you're not Gen Z like me tons of people grew up with Dragon Ball Okay, it's one of the oldest animes that uh, are really popular out there, you know Okay, so a ton of people grew up with, uh, with Dragon Ball and that's why popularity is an 11 like anybody You know Goku you can even ask a non-anime fan like any non-anime fan is gonna know Goku still You know doesn't even know what anime he is from bro Okay, and also, obviously, I gotta give him in power at 11. He solos everybody that's, that was left on this list. Except for, you know, number one, who will destroy Goku in a fight. And uh, you'll agree with me after you hear it, okay? Powers, I gave him a 10, uh, just like Naruto. He's got, like, a ton of uh, different powers. I don't really want to name, like, all of them. There's so many. Like, Ultra Instinct, uh, obviously Super Saiyan. Uh, there's just a ton, okay? And uh, personality... I, uh, I gave him nine. You know, he's really cool. And, uh, in the original series, he's obviously really dumb. He's still pretty dumb, uh, in Dragon Ball Z. And in Dragon Ball Super, you know, he's not as dumb. He, he kind of gets it all, uh, to, uh, together. So, you know, he's, he's pretty good there. So, that's why I gave him a nine instead of a ten. Uh, probably because of the original series. But, uh, yeah, that's Goku, number two. So, let's get into number one, a.k.a. the god of all anime. Okay. Here we go, the god of all anime. At number one is Usopp. Who else would be on this list? He is the god of all anime, and we all know that. You cannot tell me he solos everybody on this list. That's why I gave him power of 12. He can solo Goku, he can solo Naruto, he can solo Luffy, he can solo Jotaro. Actually, put them all together, he could be all of them 1v4, you already know. Personality, 10, obviously. You cannot tell me this guy isn't hilarious. He is also, obviously, the best character. You know, he, he should have been the captain. This is why, like, we need an Usopp-only spinoff, bro, okay? The Tales of the God Captain, Usopp, okay? And Powers, I gotta give him an 11, man. Like, Bamboo Star? Fire! Stink Star? Fire! You know? Like, the, 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 the Death Star? Fire! Flaming Bird Star, whatever it's called. Fire! Okay? I, the, 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 there's a ton. Popularity, that's the only thing he lacks in popularity. I gave him a, an 8. Because, like, you know, he's a secondary character in the show. He's pro They're probably not going to know him as much as, like, Goku, Naruto, Luffy, Jotaro. Okay? Uh, no, they're going to know him more than just. Shut up, shut up. They're they won't know him as much as Goku, and Naruto, and Luffy, okay? But, like, obviously, I don't even think I need to really explain why he's here. Usopp is the god of all anime. 
Goodbye, viewers. I will see you in the next one. Hit subscribe, like the video. Goodbye.